I think that's the smallest brown trout I've ever caught. Drug trout number two. Thank you, bud. We're out here looking for some native brook trout. Um, I just got to my first like really decent hole hiked in here and uh, there were some ducks sitting in it. So I don't think these fish are gonna eat. So I'm gonna get hiked all the way in, um, wait for it to warm up a little bit. It's supposed to go from like 35 degrees to 50 something today. So maybe some bugs will pop off and maybe we'll be able to get some dry flights. But until then, I'm probably gonna just Euro nip. But uh, I'm gonna get hiked in here, get rigged up and uh, get to fishing. I was trying to get a slow-mo shot of this little plunge pool <clears throat> and I, uh, they must have heard me because they must have been hugging this bank, but I spooked two decent brook trout up and underneath that log. This is going to be a really hard spot to fish. I probably have to bow and arrow cast up over the log, but uh, I want to take a mental note of that and <clears throat> on the way back through, I'll try to get one of them guys. to you guys about my euro nipping setup starting with the rod this is a rod that i got off of amazon and it was only 85 dollars at the time that i bought it which is an amazing deal and the rod is great i have no complaints about it whatsoever and next up i have this uh real euro nipping fly line <clears throat> and that works good it's basically just a really really thin fly line as you can see right here but the biggest tip I can give you if you're new to Euro nipping like I am is that you have to learn to cast the flies and not the fly line because that fly line is super light. But tied to that I have this Euro nipping leader that came in the box with that Euro nipping fly line. But I actually cut that in half <clears throat> and I surgeons knotted this Euro nipping leader material on there, it's camouflage. It works real good. And from there I put that indicator mono on there and I have an indicator tag hanging off of that and I think I'm running three feet of that maybe. And then from there in this video, I'm running Cortland 6X, which is 3.9 pound tippet off of that to hold my fly. Chris. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, you guys, I just messed up the release shot of that fish. I must have hit the stop recording instead of the record button. I don't really know what happened, but oh, I just completely messed that up. I don't know what just happened to this camera, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take a little break, get rigged back up and try to pull another one out of there because I think there should be something else laying under that tree. Pretty sure that one ate the lively legs, little barbless tungsten guy. <clears throat> and I think there should be some more hungry fish in here. Fish. Fish. Oh, yeah, I had another one. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I broke my dropper off in that tree, so I decided to pack everything up and move on. Alright, so I'm back on trying to get down to 
the beginning of this, well, as far as I can go. I had to take a little break there, and it was nice to catch some fish. <clears throat> really, I'm pumped. That was a decent brook trout that I landed, the little one. Round it off real quick, but still two fish eight so far, so that's good. I spent a little longer than I would want to in that hole. <clears throat> but I'm gonna keep pushing now. I got it all day, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I should be able to catch a handful more fish. Just trying to see if I see anything that's active. Because really I want to cross, but I just want to make sure there wasn't nothing right here. I don't know what's in those weeds. I don't see anything in this riffle. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm probably gonna spook something out of these weeds. I just wanna get over to this side because I can fish this pool right here. Ooh, that was deep. Ooh, the silt right there is crazy. It's kind of like a gravelly bottom right here, but I hit like a silt bar and sunk like crazy. And now I just sent a whole bunch of mud into that hole. I'm gonna leave it alone until I come back through now. Cause I just blew it out. So, there's a new lay down in here. I might have walked in here for nothing, but I think I'm gonna try to sneak up. See if I can't fish it from this side. Science is posted there, but <clears throat> that sign right there says this is as far as you can go. Shoot. I might have to run like a bow and arrow cast in here or something, we'll see. Might also break my rod on the hook set and there's freaking trees, but we're about to find out. Bro. I don't know if you can see what I got going on here, but that did not work. <laughs> Shoot. I was trying to be sneaky and I hurt myself all over. Alright, I just did his lively legs purple guy on. Me and my backpack and all my stuff back on and uh, get back to fishing. So now we're working through the thick stuff. This is the stuff that I never really get to fish because it's always on the ground. I was like that one cast to get. Let's see if something eats it. This is hard to fish. Oh, I just spooked something up. See, I knew there'd be stuff in here. I don't know if I spooked him up. I need to move him up. I think I spooked him up. Oh, there goes another one. There was another one in there.
Oh, that was a fish. Shoot. What he guys didn't see was this fish jump and shake my barbless hook. You're not eating again. I know that I got eaten in there a couple times. There's a good bowl right here, but I'll probably have to spook him. Let's get to the spot where I gotta get to to fish it. I think that's kind of my problem. The fish that I've seen, I've noticed when they spook. I haven't seen them ahead of time. So that's kind of my bad. At the same time, this place is so clear. There's so many trees. It's hard to get close enough to catch. I'm not You know. Man, there was nothing in that pool. Unless there's no reason on that weed edge. Big hole over here. I wanted to try to fish. I just blew it out. I'm going to still in this one. Let's see. Well, I'm going to see you next week. <laughs> he just followed it all the way to the bank. What a dead difference over here. We got him. <laughs> I just watched that other fish, ooh, shark it, way bigger. And this is a fry of the year. Man. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, you guys, check out this little wild brown. Hopefully I can get an angle for you where you can see him. I think that's the smallest brown trout I've ever caught. He is pretty freaking colored up. We're gonna let him go. Later, dude. <laughs> oh man, well I can't believe how I just caught that fish. I had a brook trout come out, follow my freaking little nymph all the way to the bank and not eat it. He nosed it a couple times and said, nope, I'm not eating it. Cast in there one one more time. He looked at it again. And as I was bringing it out, that little brown came out of the weeds and smoked it. We're going to the hole that I fished earlier now. Wow. Interesting that most of my fish in this creek come from a little tiny section. Brook Child was a resident. He was probably four or five years old. That brown was a young in a year. There should be a bunch of fish.
Ooh, that was, Ooh, that was a fish I pulled out of his mouth. Shoot. I literally watched the fuck come out of the fish's mouth. We are in here now. Fish. Fish. Where might not just go? He's probably on the barbless hook. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Brook trout number two. Thank you, bud. <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful fish. What's he got in the mouth? Eyes already out. You guys, look how beautiful this brook trout is right here. Doesn't get much better than this. Uh, that is a beautiful native brook trout right there. In this crystal clear Spring Creek water. Later, dude. Well, that's three fish now. We at least got a video. I'm gonna keep grinding and uh, hopefully we can pull another one out. All right, I'm done. 
I got here this morning, that water was crystal clear. You could see the bottom all the way up the street. Like, there wasn't a spot in the bottom. You couldn't see it, now you can't see the bottom anyway. So I don't think I'm gonna catch any more fish. I might stop at one other tributary on my way home, like a really high up tributary. See if maybe that water's clear, but uh, if not, I'm done. If you made it this part of this video, thanks for watching. Please don't leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. It really help me out. And I'm out.